We are very pleased to be welcomed by the Heisman Trophy winner and national champion quarterback from the University of Texas, Vince Young. Vince, welcome to the show. We just watched you beating Keyshawn's USC Trojans. What do you remember most from that game? Um, what I remember most about that game is just, just the atmosphere, the Rose Bowl being the great place that it is, the granddaddy of them all, and going against a really good football team, USC, and it was Going back and forth, it was a tight game, and uh, somebody had to take it home. So I know Keyshawn don't like that a little bit, but I'm going to rub it in on you <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, keep rubbing it in. Keep no, rubbing it's, it all, in. it's all good, VY. And they, you had an opportunity to play against the big dogs and take us down in the Rose Bowl National Championship game. But now that Texas is, is going to be moving on to a different conference, why go to the SEC now? What's, what, why do that? Well, I mean, change is change. You know, every time, everything mm. is always good to move forward, um, especially, um, you know, being a Big 12, being the University of Texas. I think being in the SEC is big for us because of the fact that the SEC is a, a really outstanding conference. So to have an opportunity to go to the floor to play, to, to, to even bring that uh, Texas A&M game back that we really want down here in Texas and just to compete on that type of level, I think is going to be really good for uh, the University of Texas, especially revenue-wise. <laughs> okay, Vince, you have Quinn Ewers on the roster now and Arch Manning set to join. Join. The question we have is who gets back to that title game first, your Longhorns or Keyshawn's Trojans? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I have to roll with, you know, I, you know, I, hopefully we'll get there first, but yeah. it's going to be tight. You know, it's going to be a lot of hard work. It's a lot of uh, mo moving faces. I mean, with this new uh, college stuff with these tra uh, not trades, but uh, transfers, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's tough to even understand what direction. But, you know, I do love what Kurt Shark, uh, Kurt Shark is doing right now. He's recruiting, and and we are not just recruiting in Texas. We're recruiting all over the place. So I have an opportunity to, to bring kids from Florida to Texas, kids from Alabama all over the place. I think it's going to be a major uh, uh, deal for us, especially moving forward in the future. Yeah, I, I think we'll get back first. We we, we wind up clipping. <laughs> no, I think we'll, we'll get back first. We wind up clipping the nemesis mm -hmm. from Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley, who used to just take him to the woodshed every chance he had. Uh, when he was at Oklahoma. Now, as you can see what he's doing out west with us, VY, bringing in players from all over the country with this NIL situation, this transfer portal, portal. There's no question that this football program is going to be back on track quick, fast, and hurry, because if not, we'll be sending him right back to Oklahoma. So you know how that goes <laughs> in these situations. When you, when you talk about Coach Sarkeesian, and I know things haven't got off to a great start for him in the University of Texas since he came over from Alabama. What is it that he needs to do, though, to get this program getting back to where it once was before? Well, honestly, you know, Coach Hart right now is doing everything he's supposed to do. I have the opportunity to be around him a lot um, and hear his speeches and, and, and how he's, um, you know, building his building the, the university, the team. So I really feel like he is moving in the right direction. Um, he just got to continue to to keep working at it. And then the young guys and the players got to understand, you know, you have one of the best coaches to learn from. So all you have to do is just do the work. I, I really put a lot of pressure on our offense and defensive line because it's always thought up front. But I really do like the direction that coach is going. His word is by what he say he means. And when you can get that from a coach, especially as a player perspective, you want to work hard and fight hard for that person. So I really feel like he's going in the right direction. He got guys like myself and the entire alumni are behind him. So uh, we're looking forward to this season. It should be a fun season for us. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.